Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder guys and welcome to update 1.81. So yesterday the patch dropped and I spent around about 12 and a half hours or so researching the M1 IP. This is the improved protection um, version of the normal M1 Abrams, a slightly upgraded version. For the most part they are exactly the same but there is more composite armour on the IP. So if I go to the M1 Abrams, you can see on the stat card, we have hull armor, turret armor, 145, 145. That corresponds to the cheeks here and the lower glacis. On the IP, we have 133, 133. Again, cheeks and lower glacis. This simply refers to the outer skin armor. There's less outer skin armor because there's more composite underneath. That is the improved um, protection part. That means better protection against APFSDS and heat shells as well as missiles. You should have more survivability. A couple of other main differences between them. The M1 Abrams is 54.4 tonnes and the IP is 55.3. Also, the IP has a top speed of 42 miles an hour and the M1 Abrams has 45 miles an hour top speed simply because of the added weight from the armour. So looking at modifications obviously i bought my way through some of them the shells you get for the m1 abrams are exactly the same on the ip so we have the default apfsds here and then we have the hesh which no one will be using at 10.0 because that's just stupid then we have heat shells smoke shells and the m774 apfsds shell which is the one i'm going to be using the one i always use but do use them sparingly 900 a shot very expensive and speaking of expensive it brings me to another point the difference in repair cost so as you can see my m1 abrams is spaded i'll show you the modifications all spaded completely maxed out everything my repair cost for a spaded Abrams is 14,415, okay? Now, the IP is a only marginally upgraded version. The biggest upgrade is the armor. So it's only sort of downside is it's slightly slower, only by a couple of miles an hour, but it's slightly slower. That said, are you ready? The repair cost for the M1 IP, oh, sorry, with, <laughs> I'll just show you the modifications again, with only these modifications, not even, well, sort of half the modifications, right, is, da -da -da, 21,854. Now, I honest to God hope that that is wrong. I hope that's wrong, because that's ridiculous. This is where we was when rank 6 first came into game with obnoxiously high repair costs i mean obnoxiously high if i switch to the t80 for russia now this is its default okay default repair cost when it goes there we go 4150 okay 4150 i'm going to take away all of these modifications and we're going to see what it is as default okay now i can't take away the shells but the shells do not um count towards repair costs there we go everything's taken away default repair for the m1 ip is 17,290 um hello gaijin i think someone made a boo boo <laughs> That is fucking ridiculous. That is really high. That is really, really high. Considering you only get... I mean, yes, you're getting more armour, but you're getting a slightly slower tank. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's let's not um, upset people now, okay? <laughs> right, I'm going to also go on to customization because this does have a new camouflage. So we have the normal ones like we had before for the M1 Abrams. We have the late desert. We have the basic desert. We have the late summer, which is just weird looking. Uh, we have the late forest, which I really like. We have the late winter, which is more like a, a late autumn rather than winter because of all the green and orangey stuff in it. And then we have this one, Cat 87 Camouflage. 
Now, this is 500. This, apparently, this is, this is a historical, right, historical camouflage. But, I can't view it. And if you're wondering why, because it doesn't load. Hang on. <laughs> we give it a second. Okay. This is all I get. I can sit here for ages and ages waiting for this to load. And it just doesn't. So, there's some sort of decal here that I can't see. We have a little bit of a decal here. A um, couple of stripes on the, on the end of the barrel. We have a couple of decals here. A couple of blurred ones here. And, yeah, I can't see it. So, I can't see it. I can't buy it. Well, I can buy it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to buy a camouflage that I cannot see. So, I'm simply just going to buy the winter camouflage and the desert one and the woodland one and be done with it. <laughs> if it ever sorts itself out, I will show you what it looks like if you're still grinding up to rank 6. Um, other than that, I, I'm not sure. I, I, I mean, I don't like this this base green it, it gets, and to have the base green with some random decals on it that are probably a bit near. Can't really see that it's worth 500 um, golden eagles. So, guys, with that said and done, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's gameplay. Okay, then, guys. So, just before I spawn in, just want you to check out the spawn points. As you can see, they have all been lowered. So now, if you spawn in with, say, a, a, a heavy tank, <laughs> tongue tied, you can at least um, spawn a medium if you get one shotted straight away, which is really good news. It means you've got multiple spawns. If you do take out a heavy, you haven't got to worry about being killed straight away. You can at least spawn a second time. So, that said, we're going to move up to... Why? Why? the fuck wow that is one fucking special child back there <laughs> god damn it okay so i'm gonna move up here and try to get into my sneaky spot I say try i'm not gonna go to the cap i don't want to get killed straight away so i'm gonna sneak or well, at least attempt to providing people stop shooting me in the back of the turret which would be lovely because I don't really need that. Now, I've got to be careful. I'm going to go around this way while it's a little bit lower. Just to hide my tank as long as possible. Okay, let's have a look. Now, even though this does have extra armor i still don't want to be an idiot i don't want to go charging in you know like a headless chicken i do want to try um, not to be hit i mean just whoa, just because you've got extra armor doesn't mean you have to have it tested every single time you play a game <laughs> okay let's get up here come on come on Come on. There we go. This is where I want to be. Alright, oh, someone down there has dropped smoke. And we'll let Mr. Abrams down there deal with him. I'm going to chill here for a second. See what pops up. See if I can get a kill or two. Holy crap, doodles. Ah, oh, I see you. Shit. Yes. There we go, that's done him some mischief. Well, if you're gonna, I'm not being funny, but if you're gonna sit in the spawn, that's what's gonna happen to you. I'm not going to kill the shield, I'm going to let the shield get out of the spawn. Because that is shitty. But if you're going to sit in your spawn, then you're going to die in your spawn. Holy hell, is that a chopper? <laughs> okay, we have all caps. This isn't looking like it's going to be very interesting gameplay. <laughs> Is literally me. Oh my good god! 
There is honest to God a helicopter shooting at me, I think. There's something going on here that's not quite right. Oh no, there we go. Got his gunner. Get him on no, we'll not get him on a reload, someone else got him. Where, where the hell is these shots coming from? There we go. Do you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. The game is literally won. So we might as well just, just carry on. Where are these missiles coming from? And why am I stuck? <laughs> Well, here we are, Hurtgren Forest. Not my favourite map, simply because I don't like this small arcade version. Um, not sure if we're ever going to see the big version again in RV. It would be nice to, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. Alright, let's wait. Uh, no one else is coming. Screw it, just get on. I'm not sitting here just to be a fucking target. <laughs> Fucking cat quick and get going. That is the name of the game. And you sticking your barrel up my bum is not going to help. <laughs> if you're going to do things like that, I deserve at least a nice meal first. God. This game sends me fucking mad. Okay, let's move over towards C. As you can see, without the engine modifications. Ouch! Ouchy, ouchy. 43 seconds for a D track. And I lost a crewman. Five seconds. Come on, come on, come on. So I can move. Please, please, please. Perfect. Oh, she doesn't want a neutral turn, no. <laughs> she really doesn't want a neutral turn without that bloody transmission and engine upgrade. I don't remember the, the M1 Abrams ever being that unwieldy because it's even stock. The M1 Abrams is a hell of a better tank. This, however, is really sluggish. I mean, yes, she is slightly heavier, but only marginally heavier. It's very hard to drive around in neutral turn when the engines really just, I don't know, just struggling for power. One. Shit, I haven't got his load at least done, I don't. He's not shooting back now. There we go. Shoot. Oh, shit. Where that came from? No, I can't move. 34 seconds. God damn, I'm not sure if that came through the smoke or what. Come on there. Our team has literally been picked apart. Oh my god, look at how many planes and stuff we've got. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm going to hold that in this position here. But it's not really going to happen, is it? Come on. Oh my god. It's going to get me killed. Come on, come on. I need to move. I need to reposition. Hang on. Another one. 
I'm so I'm surprised I'm still alive to be honest. I really am surprised. No! <laughs> I got shot in the ass. And I got no extinguishers. Oh damn it. <laughs> yeah, it was inevitable. It was inevitable. We need more tanks on the ground. Everyone's in planes and sodding helicopters at the moment. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, our team's been picked to pieces. Absolutely picked to pieces here. Let's try and get back into the combat quickly. Try and take out a couple of tanks. We are going to lose this. I can see it coming off if our team's not able to get their asses onto the ground and into some tanks. Come on with a reload, come on with a reload, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Don't let me die. Don't let me die. Come on. Perfect, there we go. That was lucky. That was bloody lucky. Again. Just on the verge of reloading as well. God damn it. Well, time to take out the trusty M1 Abrams. And I have the wrong camouflage on. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Where's the rest of our team? Oh, look at that. All in helicopters. This is one of the reasons why top tier, like top tier teams at the moment are losing, especially the Americans. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've won more games than I've lost, but every now and again you get people that are more intent on flying helicopters and sitting at the edge of the bloody map as far back as they can get but still within sight of the battlefield and just shooting the crap out of players from across the map. I understand why they've got a spawn, you can spawn them straight at the beginning of the game. But it is a massive pain in the arse. Oh god damn it. Dead. I'm dead. No. <laughs> yep, now I'm dead. Oh no. <laughs> It was worth a try. It was really worth a try. I didn't even get a chance to drop the artillery. Jesus. Yeah. If you like. <laughs> oh well then, guys. You know what they say. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. We've lost. Absolutely lost because they just couldn't be bothered to get into um, tanks. So I'm just going to use these like bloody um, tiny Tims. Okay, we have one down here. Oh look, it's fixed my crosshairs eventually. Amazing. It squeezed me? <laughs> really? Okay. Could have sworn I hit that shulker then. Oh, I think he's pissed off though. Let's see if he's still down. Where is he? Yep, hang on. Oh, damn. No! No, Shulker! No. Nah, I 
I think he's got my engine. Yep, he's definitely got the engine. Oh dear. Well, <laughs> I think that's the end of this bit of gameplay as soon as I crash. I'm not going to be spawning again. It's going to be an expensive game for me. <laughs> Even though I've got six kills and a cap. I think I'm going to be calling this one a game. Yeah, this is definitely the end. Not the end of the video, I don't think, but definitely the end of the gameplay. <laughs> For this match anyway. Plonk. Zombie Hogger. That's a weird name. Welcome back to the hang, guys. So the M1 IP is just an amazing tank. It is such fun. Really, really is fun. The extra armour that this tank receives means that you can stay in the battle for a hell of a lot longer and take a hell of a lot of punishment. Now, don't get me wrong guys, it is not impervious to enemy fire. You are not going to be invincible in this tank. But what the extra armour does do is keeps you alive longer. The longer you're in, the more damage you can do to the enemy team with your first tank. And that is the key to winning any battle. If you can decimate that first wave of enemy tanks with this, you're going to be laughing, you're going to be set. Now, on Hurt Gun, I got a really good game going there, really good game. The only thing that let me down was my team, because they all ended up in helicopters and jets. <laughs> and there was no one left on the ground, and I kind of got swamped. But even though I did get swamped, you can see just how much punishment this tank took. And it just kept going, which is really, really good. I do have, however, two issues with this tank. Issue number one is a repair cost. I don't believe that 21,854 silver lines for a half-spaded tank is right. I, I don't think that's appropriate. Now, I'm hoping it's a bug or a glitch or a hiccup. You know, call it what you will. But I'm hoping that they fix it. I hope they bring it into line with other top tier tanks. Now I wouldn't mind paying 15 grand repair cost for it. Because it is slightly up armoured. Um, from the M1 Abrams. But. 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 21 grand. Or when it's spaded probably 23, 24. Possibly more. Um, is obnoxious. It's a little bit too high. And it needs to be fixed. Issue number two is the neutral steering or neutral turning, whatever you want to call it. It just doesn't. It doesn't like to neutral turn. If it does neutral turn, it's very, very slow. When I first got the M1 Abrams, it would neutral turn stock like a ballerina. Now it's spaded, it's even better. Now, I do understand that this is slightly heavier and that's fine, but it shouldn't affect the way this tank turns. When you're playing the M1 Abrams and you get your cannon taken out and your um, turret control, you drop smoke, you neutral turn and you drive off. Same as what I tried to do on Hurt Gun with the M1 IP. I got the breach taken out and the turret taken out and I dropped smoke and I tried to neutral turn and it wouldn't have any of it. And I inevitably, yeah, inevitably got killed. So... It needs to be worked on. It is an issue with the tank. And I'm sure it's just a slight issue. If you've ever seen one of these in combat footage or parade footage or even just testing it, you know, it turns perfectly. Now, obviously, I don't have the transmission and the engine. That could affect its neutral steering. However, I didn't have those things for the Abrams, the M1 Abrams, when that was stock either, when that first came in. So I really think that's an issue that needs to be worked on. So guys, if you are new to the channel and you have enjoyed today's gameplay, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do, guys, hit the notification bell for updates on future content. Also, guys, a thumbs up is appreciated. It does help the channel. And until next time, I will see you soon and have fun.